from Holly in the IQD Calls chat room. Iraq News. April 21, 2018 p.m. Transcript on IQDcalls.com. Iraq looks forward to benefiting from the world's financial experiences Baghdad al-Sabah active mobility witnessed by the financial sector locally, regionally, and internationally for the development of work joints and the development of banking products required by the economy awaits a major work stage represents the banking sector cornerstone of this activity. The banking sector continues to experience regional experiences that have been very successful in the field of finance. The visit of the delegation of Islamic banks in Iraq was a positive one within the Kingdom of Bahrain and its financial and Arab institutions based in Manama during an intensive program organized by the Association of Iraqi Banks. Development plans The executive director of the Association of Iraqi Private Banks Ali Tarek said, the plans for the development of the Iraqi financial sector require cooperation with regional and international counterpart institutions and stand at their successful experiences and benefit from them and the transfer of the banking sector to a new stage where openness to the world will increase knowledge and work to adopt systems that make Iraq as a competitor to the countries of the region and the world in banking services especially that the training plans adopted by the association and the competent institutions have created competencies capable of mastering advanced technology. World banks offer more than 120 products to beneficiaries at different levels, companies, and individuals, and perform the work in a field and through personal electronic devices. Prospects for cooperation and added Tarek that the delegation of the banks of the Iraqi Islamic who ended his visit to Bahrain recently, came out with positive results of several most important opening new horizons of cooperation, and this in itself will benefit through friction with banks have sophisticated systems, especially that the other side understands the importance of Iraq on the Square Economy International. Iraqi banks provide about 15 banking products to their public, and thus need to develop their systems in line with developments in the international financial sector. The visit has witnessed the introduction of eight Iraqi Islamic banks requesting membership of the General Council of Islamic Banks and Financial Institutions in a move to open up to the financial and banking institutions and the world, and to establish their presence in the council with the aim of starting with advanced levels of cooperation and support the Iraqi banking sector. The Bahraini side has expressed its full readiness to open banking transactions with Iraqi banks within international standards and controls, he said, adding that, continuous communication with the Bahraini side is very effective in order to achieve the developmental goals of both sides which benefit the financial sector in both countries. A memorandum of understanding was signed between the Association of Private Banks of Iraq and the Association of Banks of Bahrain with the aim of activating cooperation and providing facilities for Iraqi banks and the second with the General Council of Banks and Islamic Financial Institutions. The association also prepared a long-term memorandum of understanding with the Bahrain Institute for Banking and Financial Training next period. Developmental mutations in turn between the Director of Training and Management Association in Ahmed Al, Hashimi said regional and international mobility is a necessity, especially that Iraq was cut off from the world for a long period of banking services through which large developmental mutations. Hashimi added that the visit revealed to the delegation the extent of aspiration of Bahraini banks that have advanced mechanisms to work to the next period, and the possibility of benefiting from the Bahraini experience in the field of training and management. Hashimi pointed out that the visit strengthened confidence between the two sides, where can be achieved prospects for cooperation between the two sides in the desire to do so between the two sides, and look forward to the parties to strengthen cooperation to the benefit of both. World Bank, Proactive Work in Crisis Areas DR. Majida Salman Mohammed It is certain that Iraq has been subjected to the worst barbaric attack in history by gangs, Daesh terrorist, which occupied a number of cities and provinces of Iraq, and caused demographic changes and tampering with the capabilities, infrastructure, and human of those cities. The extent of the devastation and its dimensions outweigh the scale of natural disasters because it targeted human beings and the meaning of humanity. In this atmosphere of rapid developments, 
ways must be found to reevaluate the risks to human security and freedom and the need to confront them through social policies and effective development programs, taking into consideration that the chances of any the potential outcomes in implementing these policies will depend on their comprehensiveness, their relevance to the reality, their reaching the target groups, and their integration with other societal variables through the reconstruction and Rehabilitation of the infrastructure in an effort to restore life to what it was, ISS of the terrorist organization days. After the strategic was the presence of the World Bank as the first and the first international economic institution implemented with the Iraqi government alone for reconstruction and rehabilitation of projects with a strategic dimension in the cities of Iraq, which were affected by terrorist operations through the Program of Emergency Development, ODP which was prepared within five weeks and the fastest loan done by the World Bank to support the emergency situation in Iraq, was signed in mid-2015 and the value of 350 million US dollars, including the first seven liberated areas and witnessed security stability and a remarkable return of displaced people, in the provinces of Salah Aldin, Dur, Science, Tikrit, Duluia, and Diala, Crate, Jalala, Saadia, and within four sectors, electricity, water, health, roads, and bridges, municipalities, are implemented by the relevant sectoral ministries. Remeet may contract included adapters, power plants, and poles and wires for power lines processing, in addition to the reconstruction of roads and bridges within the national network, such as al Harona Bridge and Bridge 2 fires in the Diala Bridge Duluiya and Bridge Cheshin in Salah Al. Din and through the oil box Kankan and by Imam Lewis in Diala and complete the work in Al Muthana Bridge north of Baghdad, which means strengthening the communication between the residents of these provinces internally and externally with the other governorates of Iraq, where this is a key building and important in the recohesion in the fabric of Iraqi society, as well as the processing of various mechanisms in the water sector. B special mechanisms for the sewerage sector, municipalities, waste containers, and various waste bins, which are suitable for the structure of the areas being processed. Under the umbrella of the same emergency development project, 20 projects have been nominated for the treatment and rehabilitation of water stations and liquidation projects in three governorates, Diala, Alanbar. Each of these projects includes a group within the targeted areas and areas, some of which have achieved good achievements and some are still in the process of being analyzed. Among the plans, 25, bridges in the provinces, the plan entered into with the liberation of those areas completed, 11, bridges in Salah Udin, Diala, Anbar, and Mosul. Commercial centers and with the continuation of the liberalization of 2016 to include Anbar province in Ramadai, one of the largest districts in the province in terms of area, 7,639, km2. And the population density, 500,000 people and includes three areas composed of population communities of 20 cities, where the bank directed towards the reconstruction of three bridges important and vital linking the center of Ramadai, where health and educational services and commercial centers of the communities of the judiciary, Bridge Omar bin Abdulaziz, which was completed in February and officially opened by the beneficiaries and facilitated the movement of more than half a million citizens in Anbar province. The World Bank returned in mid-2017 and immediately announced the liberation of Mosul to provide supplementary contractual plans for projects worth another $400 million and to enter other sectors within its ministry, education, transport, water resources, agriculture, in an effort to accelerate the reconstruction of Mosul and the regions and the development of other sectors. The importance of dealing with the loan of the World Bank does not lie in the amount of the loan as much as the importance of the mechanism of implementation that is transparent, accurate, and real appreciation of the need. 3.5 million people The World Bank was not far from the city of Nineveh, Mosul when liberated at the beginning of July the second province of Iraq in terms of population density, 3.5 million people spread over the area, 33,000 km square, was a race to bring life to those the city is famous for its history, diverse in its population, 
and is characterized by the presence of Tigris River divided into two halves of the right coast where the centers of commercial and medical services, housing, and the left side where centers of population and urban centers and government departments and the University of Mosul. He supported the reconstruction of three bridges temporarily to ensure the quick return of life, including the second Muthana Bridge on the Kosar River and the fourth bridge linking the two parts of the city of Mosul and facilitate the transfer of hundreds of people between the two sides to reach their jobs. As he managed during a record period to complete the reconstruction of the first and oldest bridge, which is the Iron Bridge and with utmost accuracy while preserving the original shape of the bridge, which is one of the important landmarks of the city and connects the right coast on the left, which contributes to the return of life to the right coast and stability and help the displacement of displaced and return to the outskirts of the old city, which eases the crisis of the camps and the economic and social pressure that weighs the state budget. The participation of the World Bank in the preparation of the Kuwait International Conference for the Reconstruction of Iraq through the study of the assessment of damages and needs in cooperation with the Ministry of Planning, a role in shedding light on the magnitude of damage in the affected provinces and the study was presented to the international community at the conference and through it was to assess the extent of damage and to estimate the real financial costs of the reconstruction process in the provinces affected by terrorist operations. Consultant Communication Fund Reconstruction Jordan waves in favor of Iraq the membership of the Board of Directors of the Arab Labor Organization 22-4-2018-12 AM Amman slash Hazem Mubaden approved by the Jordanian Council of Ministers on the Memorandum of Understanding intended to be signed between the Ministry of Communications and Information Technology and the Ministry of Communications in the Republic of Iraq. The MAO aims to develop modern communications services in the modernization of information and communication networks and the increased use of the Internet and the management of software development and exchange of information technology. It aims at cooperation and exchange of experiences in the areas of planning, research and development in the telecommunications sector and in the fields of satellite land and wireless communications and cooperation in the coordination of spectrum uses in border areas. Adnan Abul Ragabe, chairman of the Jordan Chamber of Industry, resigned after his election as a member of the Board of Directors of the Arab Labor Organization, ALO, in favor of Ali Sabi al-Saudi, president of the Federation of Iraqi Industries. Abu Ragabe stressed that, his step in giving in favor of the Iraqi side, came to contribute to the return of Iraq to the forefront of Arab and international forums. ABO stressed that the Jordan-Iraq relations are true and historic, stressing the necessity of partnership and partnership with the Jordanian government to be a role model for common Arab relations, by upgrading economic and trade relations to levels that meet the aspirations of the two sides and benefit the two countries. He pointed out that, the Jordan Chamber of Industry is working to build real partnerships with all representatives of employers in Arab countries and to achieve the joint benefits of the three parties of production of the Arab brothers, in readiness of the full chamber to provide all forms of support to the brothers in the Federation of Iraqi Industries, including the interest of the industrial sector in both countries. Abu Ragheb noted that bilateral relations will undergo a qualitative leap during the current year following the reopening of the border crossing with Iraq recently and the approval of the Iraqi side for the exemption of 540 Jordanian goods from the customs duties supplied to the Iraqi market, expressing the hope of speeding the Iraqi side in the application of the exemption the Jordanian goods, which enhances the volume of trade exchange between Jordan and Iraq and deepen economic cooperation between the two countries. Industrial Cities Yasser al-Metwaili industrial cities occupy a great deal of interest in the developed world because of its many advantages, including urban planning of cities and basic designs for building modern cities according to their specialties. Now, the Council of Ministers has issued its decision to approve the establishment of industrial cities this project deferred and forgotten well. To transfer now is the exact date and time to start construction in conjunction with the reconstruction phase of the new Iraq. However, this topic raises many questions concerning national industry in general in its public and private spheres.
Often calls are called for the need to revive national industry and the need to enact protectionist legislation for the national product and the need to prevent the elimination of imports. All of these calls are legitimate and important aimed at restoring life to the national product, which has a long history in the region and a real competitor. But if we follow the size of the rapid and rapid technological development that has occurred in the world and compare it to what the industrial machinery do to the time factor, the depletion, and the requirements of the backup materials, how do you realize the economic feasibility of reviving it? May be commissioned to rehabilitate or maintain much higher than the value of bringing modern technology commensurate with the requirements of the times and its various industries. Then is there an evaluation of the projects suspended and how much benefit? There are many questions, with some believing that reviving the industry has a great payoff in absorbing large unemployment, certainly, but reviving industry is something and reviving old factories is another thing. The most important is to clarify the real and economically feasible uses of the new industrial cities. This requires the rapid study of these aspects by the industrial sector managers from the private and public sector experts in recommending the correct use of these cities. And then there is a very important issue related to the size of the real need for industrial cities and are there enough space and the appropriate environment. The old industrial zones, which occupy a large area of the capital and city centers, which require study of the possibility of transferring them to the industrial cities assumed to empty large spaces in the capital for the purpose of modern urban construction and make the capital's environment pure. There is a random spread of many trades that have distorted the correct design of modern cities if there is a serious answer to these questions, the industrial cities project to succeed in advance. With the importance of the availability of financial allocations to compensate some professions that may be affected by this program. The National Program for Economic Reform will win the elections. Samir al Nasseri asterisk on May 12th voters will go to the polls to elect Iraq's leaders for the next four years. The Iraqi people will follow up and monitor the election programs of the blocs and parties that announced their participation in the upcoming parliamentary elections. The most important programs that the people will be interested in. I think it will be the basis for winning the elections because the sound economic approach will achieve stability, security, security, sovereignty, and reconstruction and thus the welfare of society. In light of the political, security and economic conditions that our country is currently experiencing, especially the suffering of the turbulent economic reality and the financial crisis, which have clearly affected the implementation of the plans of the government and the private sector to contribute to economic development as this crisis causes the current and future repercussions and the apparent failure to create new economic resources and weakness economic planning and the continuation of the deficit from year to year in public budgets because of the lack of cash reserves in the time of abundance in oil prices because of the lack of a national fund to save and mismanagement of public funds. In addition to the confusion of the economic vision deep in the background and the reality of the Iraqi economy rent and the migration of national capital abroad because of subjective and subjective conditions. Many questions raised by the economic reality during the period, 2003, until the present time, which led to structural and structural imbalances in the economy made the experts and researchers and those concerned with the economic issue to be confused in determining the paths of the Iraqi economy and to any horizon is the most important and obvious confusion in all the economic sectors, although all these sectors of agriculture and industry, oil and finance, construction, reconstruction and services have been drawn up strategies and initiatives, but the reality of the case confirms that nothing has been implemented of these important strategies over those years. Is it enough to say that our economic approach is moving in a sound direction towards the mechanisms of the market economy? Is there transparency and credibility in the data and information issued by the parties related to economic construction in the public and private sectors and to achieve what governments plan sequentially? Is this approach is really consistent with the conditions in which the country is living? Do we need to lay the foundations, contexts, and laws that serve to rebuild the economy according to a new insight? 
The mobilization of the potential of the state and the private sector in its various activities depends on drawing up a roadmap and strategy to build the preconditions for the transition to a social market economy, so that the private sector takes the main role in participating in economic management and economic decision making. What are the plans and programs and the lines of communication and cooperation between the government and the private sector in the implementation of a strategy that is timed and clear to all sides and is based on a specific central objective as well, how we start and how to build our national economy and who builds and how to build its foundations and who in the end led by whether it is the public sector or the private sector and how to reach a vision shared by the administration, especially since the Council of Ministers approved a few days ago the Sustainable Development Plan of the Vine over the next few years. Therefore, we need a comprehensive national economic reform approach to the construction and management of the economy in line with everything Iraqi core in consciousness, culture, work, and history and the bright future, which we see with optimistic eyes means that we work according to the principle, disagree in politics and unite the economy, so I call the blocs that will win the elections to the unification of its economic programs with the National Program of Economic Reform is approved it. The first session of the House of Representatives after the election of the next government for Iraq and its people. End articles. Transcript on iqdcalls.com.